Hey guys! Hey! Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome black! Shimmy Show! Episode... Shane, why don't you tell our viewers what's going on today? Well, I'll tell them what's not going on today You're yelling. first. Now, our last two episodes, which we would so entitle number seven and number eight, have just hit the... 100,000... Woo! <laughs> Screen. So collectively, we've had over 700,000 views. With this many views, almost a billion, you've got to be thinking to yourself, what's America thinking? <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. So we're in the hotbed of social interaction, Zoosh. Houston, Texas. And we're just asking the question, what do you think about Shimmy? We want to get your thoughts on the Shimmy show. What do you think about it? Oh, I like the Shimmy show. It's a nice show, man. What is the first word that comes to mind when I say the shimmy show? Oh God, I don't know. Did oh, you hear that? God. His first thought was God. That's right. Yeah. Would you say it's the greatest show in American history? Greatest show in American history, the shimmy show. My favorite show of all time. Wow. What do you think about the shimmy show? Yeah, the shimmy show. Oh, no, 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 no. Sir, what do you think of the shimmy show? Oh. What was your favorite episode? Season one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Totally agree with uh, that. Yeah. Um. Man, Hyman. Action. Welcome, Shimmy Land. The Shiminators. The Shimmy Shangles. The Shank Saw. The Chandeliers. The Poops. Hey guys. Hey you. Welcome back. Welcome here. We're on a roof top. Where are you? Shimmy 9. Shine. We've come a long way, Shimmy. Yeah, it's about 30 miles from my house. <laughs> we have come a long way. We have. Number 9. You know what's next, don't you? Number 10. And total views of all our episodes is over 700,000 views. Dollars. So our question is, how can you go any higher than infinity? I've heard a, a great poet say, to infinity and beyond. And that's exactly what we plan to do. So we need you to help us. Help you watch the show. That's right. We need you to watch the show 12 times a day for six days a week. <laughs> so, oh, speaking of great, Jimmy, uh, you do have a new album coming out. I do. What's it called? Not Without Love. No, what's the name of it? Not Without Love? Oh, okay. August 19th, baby, street Woo! date. Boom. Booyah on your street. Boom in the room, in the tomb, in the rhyme room. Ah, uh, na na na. Hey, so can we get a snippet of it? In fact, we can. Oh! Why don't we throw on me playing one of the new singles from the record on episode 9B? <laughs> 9B, let's do it. Yeah. All right, well that's good, so you'll play it. What song are you gonna play for us? So keep, keep it tuned right here. <laughs> that's it. What's it called? I don't know yet. <laughs> But I'll decide in episode 9B what I play. All right. But it's going to be a good it's one. Gonna be... <laughs> would you say it's one of your best ones on your new album? I would say it's one of the top 11. <laughs> Jimmy, when you see something, what do you do? You review it. Would you say you critique it? I'd say I'd judge it. We are doing a new segment on our show. It's called Shimmy Reviews. Movie number one. Die Hard. Oh, boy. Live free or die hard, to be exact. We saw in the theater, it was our first movie to see together. It was a good movie. It was. Out of six shimmies, we gave it four and a half. I thought we gave it five. We gave it five. We gave it five shimmies. And the reason was because Bruce Willis shot himself to kill the guy behind him. Which couldn't be any more shimmy. That's right. Shane, if there was someone holding you hostage, I promise I would shoot through you to kill them. <laughs> if we shot you, Viewer, how would you respond? How would you vote us? <laughs> Email us. Email us and let us know what, how many shimmies we would get if we killed you to kill someone else. <laughs> That's right. So, movie we, number two. Some would call it a documentary on missionaries. Others would call it a bloodbath. <laughs> we call it Rambo. Dum dum dum. Bam bam. Cue the music. This movie touched me. This movie made me sick. When we saw this movie, we thought. Those are missionaries. We're gonna see a Christian film. That's right, because it was about missionaries. He was protecting missionaries. missionaries. <laughs> so one of the missionaries comes up to Rambo. She does this, cross necklace. And Rambo does this. 
and as soon as he receives it, you know when you see it, he gets saved. Needless to say, after Rambo became a Christian, he killed 200 people. <laughs> That's right. But, all right, so out of, uh, out of a possible 75 shimmies, we gave this 30 pumpkins. 30 pumpkin seeds. Right. So, I mean, that's pretty good. You do the math. That's right. <laughs> this is a weekly show, and we're glad to be back this week. So, so read your emails, yeah, painstakingly. That's right. Every one of them, every detail, every word, every consonant. We do skip some vowels, but I won't tell you which. So, this is from Shelby. You guys are awesome. I've only watched... Oh. Episode 4, 5, 5B, and 6 seven times. And I was laughing my butt off. That's disgusting, Shelby. Please don't ever email us again. Two words. Shimmy Club. Oh, boy. Shimmy Club, Jimmy. You know what? There's some things in this life that make me sick, and then there are some things. One of them is the Shimmy Club. On our weekly segment, oh. Who to Sue. Show the song! Who to Sue. Who to Sue. Shimmy Club. The Shimmy Club does not represent us at all. So what do they represent? They represent Satan? Shimmy, you've been sued. The Shimmy Show is more than just fun and games and giggles and snuggles. What? I don't know. Jimmy, did you know that 2% of Christians actively share their faith? Yeah, I did. I told you that statistic. The reality is nobody's talking about Jesus. 2% are, Jimmy. Actually, yeah. One can make the case that not that many Christians, then, are actually talking about their faith. Why should we share? But what are some what are some practical steps if you're thinking, all right, well, I don't really feel like it, or or maybe I'm not there. Um, is is one is uh, I was challenge you guys to to, to get plugged in and into the Word and to read it. Jesus says this in Matthew 12. He says, "Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks." You know, Jimmy and I went and saw Rambo, right? And so we were excited. There's blood and guts everywhere, and it was a, a documentary. Oh, Christian, Christian, right? But we got we were done. We we're talking about different scenes and stuff. We were excited about. It. We were passionate about because it. it, it just experienced it you know when, when you're in the word and, and you're, you're reading it and you're living it and you're studying it and you're praying with people you're excited about it you talk about it what you're excited about you talk about you know and Jesus like I said Matthew 12 34 out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and you can't talk about something you don't know anything about and so if you haven't read reading a, a book right now I challenge you guys to read uh, read John and just a love for your, your friends so that they can have hope you know you may be sitting there not having hope um, but saying, I'm a Christian. Well, man, God lives inside of you. You know, 2 Corinthians 5, you're a new creation. You know, you've been bought at a price. Um, and if you don't tell your friends, you know, who will? One thing that I like to do is, is kind of meditate, think on uh, the concept of eternity. That was really big for me in high school. To really just sit with God in silence. And I would challenge you guys to do this. Just sit with God for an hour one day. And just go, God, what is it? What is what does that mean, eternity, heaven and hell? What? Give me the gravity of that. See, our God is a living God. He's an active God. He wants to interact with his kids. So if you ask him a question like that, you know, be forewarned. He's going to answer you. And so just sit there with the Lord and just, and just ask him, God, would you help me to understand what it means for someone to walk off this planet forever and to go to hell? Or, God, will you give me an understanding of what it means for someone to not know you on this earth and you get no glory out of their life and how that breaks your heart? How that hurts you when people sin against you rather than serve you. God, and just sit with him and ask him these big questions and then just let the truth of that fall on you. Our God is a God who still speaks. And remember that, Christians. I think a lot of times we just think uh, that we can only hear God through his word. But God is a living and active God. Jesus says, my people hear my voice, my sheep hear my voice. Uh, and, and I believe that if you ask him a question like that, he can respond. Uh, and that will really stir your heart, stir your affections to reach the lost for the glory of God. Hey, if you got any God stories, email us your story. We're uh, collecting them and uh, we're reading them and uh, we'll put them on the website and uh, hopefully it'll be an encouragement to uh, a lot of people. Oh yeah. We love you. We trust you. And we'll see you soon. Hopefully sooner than last time. Oh, no. It's an exorcism. Oh, no.